Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited to bring you this video because I've been working on this project for like three months now. It's the longest I've ever spent on a single bike project. I'm gonna show you how I took this $20 junk road bike and built it into something pretty cool, I think. Also, we're gonna see how what seems like a really cheap project, at least in my mind, wow, $20 frame, it ended up being quite a bit more as you start adding those parts along. Anyway, let's get started. I think it came out really cool. I think you're gonna enjoy it. See ya. And I'm, I'm taking 20 bucks, first come, first serve. So many dogs don't like it. I know. I'm not sure why. So we have 9.7 kilograms. 9.7 plus exactly 1.7. So to start with, the bike was exactly 11.4 kilograms. Check out that, that's the original paint. Some of the brass that was used to put the frame together. You can see that right there, and in a couple other spots. What else did I discover? Oh yeah, also some rust was hiding under the paint, unfortunately. Okay, after a whole bunch of sanding and using the wire wheel with the uh, cordless drill, I'm pretty much as good as I'm going to get, and I got most of it pretty well, I think. Of course, if you try, you can, you know, actually get all the paint off, and I, I did, you know, leave a couple little pieces on it, like down there. I just, it was just taking too long, basically, to get every little speck off, but I think I got it good enough. I'm really taking my time on this because I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to get any runs. Okay, I'm done with the primer. I think it turned out really good. I didn't have any trouble applying it. I'm probably going to just wait for a few hours and then come back and and uh, start painting the, the real coat, the top coat. Now, I'm not going to do any sanding. I know some people said you can and some say you should. I don't know. I don't want to mess with it. I'm afraid I'll mess it up even worse if I try to sand it and sand through the primer and this and that. So I'm just going to keep it simple.
Okay, so I have about the cheapest headset that I could find on Amazon.com. I'll put a link to it down in the description if you want to buy it too. I think it was around $10. Um, basically, it's for a, a 1 and 1 8th, I believe. Um, 1 and 1 8th headset. Anyway, it's the one that fits this bike. And I have it here now, and I think I see how it's going to work. So this will be the bottom. Uh, so first of all, I need to find the 26.4. So this will go on the fork, which I'm not sure how I'm going to do yet, but that will go on the fork. This little skirt here that will go on like that, and then we'll have the bearing and then the, the bottom cup. And then that will go into the frame, and so that's how that will work. It feels really good. Uh, for the top side, we have the upper cup, we have the bearing, we have the cap, I think it's called, bearing cap, compression ring, it's kind of like a rubber thing, then a washer. Then you have the stem, and then you have the stem cap and bolt and so forth. So that's how it goes together. Uh, then I also made this tool because in my last videos a lot of people were saying you shouldn't be hammering them in, which is correct. You should use a tool. You can even make a tool, some people said. So I went ahead and made this. I, I had the uh, 716 14 rod here, and I, I did find one nut, but I couldn't find the other. Went to the hardware store and surprisingly they had no 716 14 nuts except for this, what do they call it, like a hanger bolt or whatever. So I took it, it was like $1.20 or something. Um, I think it'll actually work okay. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and actually try to put this lower cup on. And uh, yeah, let's go over to the bike and try it. Oh man, that's super annoying. I just realized that I wasn't recording that whole time that I was pounding this star nut in. But um, really wasn't that much to see. I just used this kind of tool that I made. RJ the bike, bike guy recommended doing it this way or using a socket and the uh, same, same uh, bolt. And then you just uh, tighten that in and then just it gives you something to hammer it, hammer it in there. So pretty simple.